What's poppin' y'all? It's your boy. Billy's Graph Reviews. You gotta check me out. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Um, today I'm gonna be reviewing the Uni Broad. Um, and also the Spanish Montana paint. This is the liquid silver, but they also have liquid uh copper which is like the brownish color and then they have liquid gold which is gold and this is the uh the metallic silver so i'm gonna be going over the two a little bit and talking about them um this marker right here is very versatile it is it is best for paints in particular, oil type, oil based paints. Um, can write on damn near anything. Most painters like me already already know about the uni broads. This one right here, the Japanese style one. But you could get them in American style. And you could also get these in different colors too. White, blue, yellow, black, gold. Like this one is the silver, obviously. I'm finna, I'm finna close these. Yeah, like I was saying, you could um, all type of different colors. This is the silver. Japanese style. It's like an eight millimeter chisel nib. Pretty small. Sometimes it kind of gets hard. Like you got, you kind of got to clean. You got to stay up with this stuff on the side. Clean it right here, and if it ever gets too hard. You could just take some of this acetone right here or a nail polish remover and basically just take a Q-tip or like a cotton bar or a shirt or something and just swab in there and it'll come right off. This this will take off most any paint and damn near anything that you're writing with. This will take it off for sure. Um, except for like that Mephians, that purple, that purple shit that purple ink or like Garvey or something like that. But other than that, it's coming off. But this right here, this is well known in the graph community. Everybody already knows about the Union. Everybody knows that the silver one is the best one. You can't get, you can't buy the, the paint separate, which sucks, but that's what this comes for. That, this is the next best thing. So I was going to go ahead and refill this anyway. This marker, because mine, if you can hear, it's empty. But this is a, I, I believe it's an oil-based paint too. And I know there's xylene in here. So xylene is going to be the smelly stuff that helps with the stain. And, uh... A lot of products don't have xylene anymore. You know, like a lot of the products back in the day used to use it before it got regulated. But now you'll you'll hardly find any products. You won't find any products that are currently making products with xylene in them. So xylene is more turned now to like a DIY type of thing. Um, because... I don't like I said no other no no like bigger companies are you still using it. But you maybe you could find some out there, but I'm I as far as in the US and any that I know off the top of my head, but I probably but I wouldn't say in the video anyway because uh it's not meant for that. But this is the thing. Also because it has xylene, xylene will eat and corrode plastic. So it says right here, avoid plastic containers. That's why it's in this like aluminum type of container. That's why I'm putting it in this 
aluminum metal body style marker. If you look over here, I got another marker. Let me see, where is it at? I showed it on my other video. I tried to put some of this Spanish Montana in here and it corroded it so bad, I can't even get the shit open. And then right here, you, as you can see, just totally, totally dried out the nib. Mind you, I never really, I, I used this marker like once here and there. And now look, it's it's still in there, just dry, corroded. So, and mind you, this is a pump action marker. You know, so I've heard of people putting this shit in mops and all type of other plastic containers and it always corrodes it every time. So just do yourself a favor, don't throw it in a marker that that isn't aluminum or metal body always throw it in like a uni that's what this is for this is for like the unis you now this can be used in a mop but if you're gonna use a, this in a mop just throw it in like a little cheap mop and and then throw that mop away for the night like basically if you're gonna put this in a mop use that mop for the whole finish that mop for that day and then once you're done with it that day throw it away that's the best advice if you want to put this in a mop, you know, something like this, like this ninja marker that I got sent. You know, you could throw it in this, use it for the day. I guarantee you within a week, it'll be corroded up. It'll be eight and you won't be able to use it. So you'll have to throw it away anyway. So on that note, like I said, I was going to go ahead and fill this this marker up anyway. So I just figured I'll knock two kind of two products out in one video um yeah i think i basically pretty much said anything this marker right here is pretty versatile it can write on anything glass wood plastic metal industrial items rocks like it can write on damn near anything also another thing i like about this about the the paint in this marker in particular is very shiny like it's very shiny, like almost fluorescent. Like you walk past it and it, it stands out and shines among other among other tags or whatever. This one always shines and it just it always looks good wherever whenever you use it. Like it's hard to make this marker look bad if you know what you're doing. Uh, this marker actually makes makes people look really uh really better. Like this shit could make toys look even even better. You know what I mean? So, so basically, without further ado, I'll go ahead and and refill the marker, and then I'll go ahead and show you what it writes like. I use this tool because I don't like getting too. Damn, that shit came out hot. So as you can see inside right there, there's like hardly any, any paint left. You see that? There's hardly any paint in there. I knew there was hardly any in there. So I'm gonna fill it up. I'm not gonna fill it up all the way, just like 75%. You gotta remember to shake this, this paint. So now that I shook it up, I'm gonna go ahead and that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like on the inside. Smells really strong. I don't even know 
how to describe the smell other than just like like chemicals. All right, so I'm gonna use this little dripper tool right here. So I got like, I filled like half of it in there. I'm not going to fill it all the way up just for the sake of the video. I ain't trying to be sitting here all damn day filling this shit up, but I'm going to go ahead and do, go ahead and get that jumping for you. See, y'all can see this marker. real quick just gonna do what I said to do earlier go ahead and take some of this go ahead and take some of this nail polish remover because you want to get you want to clean the sides off See how that comes right off. Most everything comes right off. It makes it less of a hassle when you want to get it off. I kind of just hit inside there real quick. Just kind of clean it up. And then lastly, I'm gonna get inside this cat. A little better. So I'll put that valve back in, boom. So now that that's in there, I'll go ahead and shake it up and let y'all see what it looks like.
gonna juice it up a little bit. The reason why I did it like this is first is to release the air. Otherwise, when I go to push down, all it would just drip, it'll drip all out. There, you see that? You see that perfect shine? See how shiny that is? How shiny that is it really stands out let me show you how it looks on the black See how stand out that is. Even with the light off, it's doing that ripple effect because there's xylene in it and it's eating up the plastic already. You see it's already it's already rippling it's really cool really great marker i like that it's pretty versatile it could really take ink too i don't know if it if it'll take ink and paint together but i don't see why not it's damn near the same thing as a smash um and it's a metal body. It's really, it's really durable too. So this will last a while. I can tell it's gonna last a while. I've had this marker in particular since I got it, which is like two years ago. I've used it, tagged it with it on the streets. Still got it, I'll still tag with it on the streets. Um, I got nibs just to change, which they take just regular replacement eight millimeter nibs. 
but this one is really durable as you can see barely even touched and i've used this one on the streets uh like i said extremely versatile really really bold this is a statement for any any graph head any marker head you already know we all know about the uni broads and they they gotta be they have to be in the in the lineup so uni broad uni px30 and the spanish montana this is a two for one and i consider that a case closed i i appreciate y'all that have been commenting on my channel following me on my instagram go ahead and shoot me a follow on there right now billy's ideas b-i-l-l-y-s i-d-e-a-s um it takes time out of my day and other things that i got going to make these videos and money out my pocket to go and buy more things like i got some other stuff on the way right now that i'm going to review for y'all so if y'all could support me <clears throat> that's the the least i feel like y'all could do shoot me a little like or a comment even if you don't like the content shoot me a, con a comment tell me how i could improve it that'd be pretty dope um i got more video and more more videos and more content coming regardless so y'all stay tuned i appreciate the support and the love peace